You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. I am provided by Nostalgia Products for a review. Hey, it's a Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I am going to check out the Nostalgia Electric Ice Cream Maker with a built-in candy crusher. I can't wait to see how that works. But first, I need to say thanks to Nostalgia Products for sending this to me for free to check out on video. Now, I have used quite a few of their machines. If you remember, I've tried their hot dog maker, their grilled cheese maker, and uh, Butch and I used the cotton candy machine in all of our cotton candy series videos. So when they offered this to me, I said, sure, I would like to make ice cream. This has a built-in electric motor. I believe that's supposed to be electric motor. Does all the churning, makes ice cream in about 15 minutes, which is pretty quick. That'll be fun to see. It is a two-quart capacity. And then it says candy crusher to DD mix-ins, hmm, and candy pieces to ice cream. All right, let me see what DD means. I will check out this side here. Shows you a bowl of ice cream with all kinds of crushed candy and whole candy as well. Let's see, makes up to two quarts of ice cream. Frozen yogurt or sorbet, or sorbet, however you say it, at a time. Durable bottom dry motor does all the churning, no manual effort. Hand crate candy crusher breaks up favorite mix-ins and candy pieces to customize ice cream. Detachable ice cream bucket keeps ice cream cold when ready to serve. Easily add ice and salt through the top openings. Plastic interior makes for easy cleanup. Cord storage for tidy sh uh, stowing. I was going to say showing, but it's stowing. And then that is a repeat. Let's look at the back. I saw more there. Ooh, okay. So it's telling us where the on-off switch is. And yes, I have a sweatshirt on today. It's so cold out. I thought, hmm, I'm going to make ice cream. Let me put on a sweatshirt. All right, handy crate candy crusher to add mix-ins and candy pieces to ice cream. That's up there. Easily add ice and salt through top openings. Okay. Detachable ice cream bucket keeps ice cream cold. Ah, very interesting. And then easy clean plastic interior. Electric bottom drive motor does all the churning. There's the on-off medi dial medallion. And then stainless steel detail around the base. All right, let me... Uh, Get this out of the box and we'll set it up. All right, let's see what we have here. Let us cut the tamper-proof seal there. Okay, right on top is our trusty instructions booklet. And this looks like I'm gonna have to tip it over to pull it out here. Let's see if we'll slide out. There we go. Okay, I got it. It's all nicely wrapped. Nothing else in the box. Let's bring this down a level though, now that we're at least not up there sky high with the camera. Okay, so individually wrapped piece here. This is, ooh, the top lid with the cutter in here. Okay, so it looks like there are plastic blades that chop up your candy pieces. Okay, and there's this here. I'll just take it all out because it's all in bags. Usually you have to wash it first anyway. There's the metal canister. Okay, oh, I see now the bucket, see? Comes right off like they say. All right, now is there a right way or a wrong way? I don't know. Let's just double check and see. Okay, so it looks like that will go in multiple directions. Electric ice cream maker. Add ice and rock salt to aid in the freezing process. I will do that. Okay, that fits in there. And then here's our little crank handle. All right, so we have all the pieces out. Now I'm guessing they're gonna say wash first. So I will do that. I'm gonna wash what I need to wash. I had, well, they sent me some bonus items. I thought, okay, let's see what else they have to offer today. This ice cream starter kit, check that out. So that's two flavors. I'll probably make the vanilla so that I could see the candy that's in there. Let's see what's in here. And then I thought, hmm, it's, you know, it's not too far from Halloween. Okay, oh, this opens from the top. Let me bring in Halloween candy and crush some of that up and see. 
All right, so the seal was broken on this one. I forgot because I didn't, I wanted to see what was actually in the pack. So it didn't come to me like that. There's two ice creams and then you get the salt, the rock salt required to make each batch. All right, so this should be pretty fun. I will see here safety, important safeguards, additional information, save these instructions, parts, how to operate. Okay, I will review this. I will come back and then, uh, of course, wash what I need to wash and we'll make vanilla ice cream with my Halloween crushed candy. How's that sound? All right, here we go. So I'll be making their vanilla ice cream mix. This says... One eight ounce pouch of vanilla mix, that's this, two cups of milk, two cups of cream, and then chill the ice cream canister, which it is right now. Add contents of ice cream mix to the milk and cream, stir until dissolved. Okay, so two cups of each. You can't beat that, that's pretty easy. All right, so here's my measuring cup. Nothing miniature today, I'm using full size, regular kitchen utensils. And I'm using whole milk. They have uh, all kinds of ice cream recipes online that you can follow. I just uh, thought, hey, it'd be nice to show there. So they graciously sent me the pack so I didn't have to go out and buy stuff. Well, either way, I guess I had to get the milk, right? Two cups. And then two cups. Now I was uh, reading the instructions and there's a couple things they did say in there. If things get stuck, you gotta use, wow, look at that. I just had enough. Okay. Now uh, I'm gonna re-chill this because my milk has been sitting out for about 10 minutes. So I wanna make sure I put everything back in and get it nice and chilly. And I said mix this in. Mm, it smells good. Alright, so while I'm gathering and getting my ice, it said chopped ice it didn't actually say crushed ice but cubes that were broken so i want to do that i'm gonna get regular cubes and then break them up okay so i will come back and uh with the next step here i'm going to chill this and then come back with my crushed ice and we will start the process okay so my ice is set to go i just need to crush it so i got a bag and a trusty hammer which you've seen in many videos because i was reading this it says break up ice cubes into small rough pieces you may use a mallet or a hammer to break into smaller pieces if needed for each batch of ice cream, expect to use one to two medium bags of ice. So it does not say use crushed ice from your refrigerator, probably because that just might be too small of pieces. So I got a nice big bag here. And then I will break this up. I will spare the headphone users, but I still want to do some on video so you see what I'm going through for the process. So there we are. There is my ice. Here is my hammer. Okay, when I feel like I have enough rough pieces, I will come back. And it's a matter of just putting in the Ice cream mixture I made. I'll be back in a little bit, everybody. I'm having fun smashing ice cubes. These were small to begin with, so. Ooh, oh, there's been a breach in the bag.
All right, here we go. First thing, flat level surface. Then take the cord out of its little storage area. See that? That's where it stores. Remember they said it had a nice tuck away area for the cord. Let's plug it in. It should be off. Then you put this on. That is the next step. Okay. Of course, choose your favorite ice cream flavor. We did that. Chill this, which it is. Place the canister into the bucket. It should sit on those gears. And then, uh, let's see. Then pour your chilled ice cream mixture into the canister, which it is. So let me move my ice stuff out of the way. Pour this in. And it says two-thirds full. So here we go. That's almost all the way up on this. So it looks like their whole mixture goes in. All right, then insert the dasher. Okay, remember now, the dasher stays still. This outer piece is what's in the gear. Attach the canister brace. Okay, this locks in here. And to get it out, I just pull it out just a little and then it will pop out. Okay, so that seems like it's all in. Okay. Break up ice cubes, yes. You may do that. Fill the bucket with a layer of ice, about six cups. Okay. Here we go. I think I'm going to use the same spoon that I have for my milk. I'll just wipe it off real quick. Now you do this in layers. Now you're going on the outside. What does it say? It says, okay, about, add about two bags of ice. Fill the bucket with a small layer of ice, about six cups evenly. Cover the first layer of ice with a half a cup of the salt. Oh cool. Piece of ice just dropped in. That's okay. So now you don't want to get this into there. Because you don't want salty ice cream. You could use a spoon or a measuring cup. But I will cover it with my hand. Okay. Now back to this. So I will continue this now until I have almost all the way to the top it says. So I will speed this up now. Okay. All right, so about an inch or so from the top edge it's set. Uh, let's see. Any more ice may cause the mixture to spill over to the canister. I don't think we'll have a problem there. What does it say next? Okay, as the ice melts two to, down two to three inches, it may be beneficial to add more ice or salt. All right, plug the power cord. Did that. Turn on. Here we go. The canister rotates, like I said. So I think we're good. As the canister turns... Stir and mix the ice salt together every 10 to 15 minutes. So I can do that. 
once the ice cream has reached a thick milkshake like consistency so it's not going to look like the ice cream you get you buy at the store in the gallons and half gallons that's been frozen at a lower temperature now when that's all done then i'm going to come in and get this piece in so this they say locks in let's see how that locks in oh i see so that locks in these little pins here all right let's just do it just so we can get a test in and then this locks oh there's another lock here and i'll show you on this side here that's going to lock back to that and then once that's all locked in then i could put something in there and crush it but they said only at the end so let's get this i'll just record it why not get close up in there we'll watch it change So I've got my first 10 minutes in. I've added a little bit. Let me just turn this off and see if we can get a little consistency check here. I'll use a back of the spoon. Okay, so it's a little bit too soft, not milkshakey enough. Taste-wise, it is good though. Now I have the candy in the refrigerator. They said to use candy that's cold and not warm and not from the freezer. So I will uh give this another say 10 minutes and come back and check it so you'll see me add more ice and more salt looks like we're getting there though looking pretty good five minutes left it said in the last five minutes start crushing candy so let's see let's get this on here 
ready to go. Let's get some M&Ms in there. Let's see how those crush up. Let's get this in here. Ooh, it's getting some resistance. It's definitely chopping them. Well, I'm not used to seeing myself with sleeves. Okay, let's take a look inside. Ooh, look at that swirl around. All right. I see where the cutter is. I can hit it each time. All right, let's take uh, some molten uh, milk balls called Whoppers. What's happening is I'm putting pressure down and I think it's slowing the spin rate down. So I'll try to put less pressure on the, the basket down. See when I take my hand away? Let's take a look inside. Yes, so I have two of the milk balls left. I did want to try some nerds. I don't know why. It's going to change the color, but hey. Let's experiment here. Now it said hard candies you don't want to do, so I figured these are small enough. Yeah, they're going through. Let's take a look at my ice cream. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Most of my figure would just fall through anyway. All right, let's try one. Candy bar, how's that? Uh, let's do a Butterfinger. I broke it. Broke it up just to see. Oh, that one goes down smooth and easy. That's gone already. You want to look inside? Look at that. Okay, so I guess I don't need to break up a candy bar. That seems to go in the best. How about a Snickers? I see what's happening. It's like being held down, gets to the cutter. Well, it's taking the, ooh, I think I hit a nut. Now it said some nuts don't do because they're just a little too hard, but there we go. Let's look at that. I think it's ready. I think it might be perfect, actually. Yeah, that last nut doesn't want to get through. Oh, there we go. I bet you it's that caramel in there. Okay. I think the machine is good and ready. So let me move some stuff out of the way, come back, scoop it out, and eat some ice cream. All right, so now, after that is all done, when I should remove the candy crusher, which I did, canister brace and dasher, and it says you can scrape off the dasher. Ooh, it rose up for me. Let's see. Oh, it's a nice consistency, that's for sure. It's good and thick, look at that. Oh, spatula in. That came out pretty good. Now I did see a few ice cubes go in there and maybe one piece of salt I might have seen pop in there, but I don't think that's going to affect the taste on this. Okay, that's all done. Now I don't expect it to scoop like a real ice cream, but let's just see. Okay. Now, I could take it out of the canister, but it's going to be drippy wet, so I'm just going to do that. Mmm, that looks good. All right. 
I'm going to actually move some things out of the way here after I finish creating this. And a cherry on top. There we go. Well, you know what? Let me scoop one out for everybody out there who's watching. If you were lucky enough to be here with me right now, I would give you this one. Now, they do say if you want a thicker, more store-like ice cream, you could put this in the freezer, and then it will thicken up. Actually, the sides are pretty much in that consistency. What do you want, another scoop? I see the nerds in there. Ooh, look at the color. Pretty nice. You're probably going to say, how come you got more? All right. Ooh, I gave you that. Beautiful scoop. Okay. One or two cherries for everybody out there. Or none. Do any of you not like cherries on top? Or do you give them to somebody else because you don't like them? All right. Let's give them a taste. All right. A spoon for yours. And I will take mine now. Looks pretty good. Hopefully I get some nerds. That's what I'm looking for. Mmm, crunchy candy, that's for sure. So that hit me at the end there when I was chewing. Do you hear that? Okay, I would say overall... It came out pretty nice. So there you go, it works. And I'm dripping ice cream everywhere. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had fun making it. Uh, you can use any ice cream mix you want, really. All right, I'll stop eating. But it's really good. And thanks for sticking around and watching the entire video. I do appreciate it. If you want to learn more about this product, I'll put a link in the description area. And as always, thanks for supporting and watching Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up.